Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hi all, I am Maharasha, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. In today's session, we are going to see about AI expert system, Mizen and Dart. Mizen and Dart are two types of expert system. Before getting into that, we have to know about what is storage, what is server and what is network. So storage as you know, it plays an important role when we go for a process input and output. So storage plays a major role whatever functionality we are doing on the expert system. So server is nothing but we are going to compute. Whatever process we are doing, everything will be handled by the server. And network is like the platform which we are going to do the process. So these are, these are the three major factors we are going to see in our expert system. So what is an AI? Generally artificial intelligence as we know which things beyond the human. So artificial intelligence is not a single part of the unit along with the machine learning and deep learning artificial intelligence plays a major role in nowadays. So artificial intelligence will have the components of machine learning as well as deep learning. So all together three, these three plays a major role in the expert system. So artificial intelligence will be the topmost layer of the network and machine learning will be the intermediate layer and deep learning will be the lowermost layer. So deep learning will be having the many interconnected neurons so that you can able to have the functionality of the process whatever the input we are getting whatever the data we are processing everything will be handled by deep learning. Why? Because deep learning will have the knowledge base where it has to act as an important factor centralized one. So machine learning is like what we what we are giving training to the system. So whatever we teach a system machine learning acts according to that. If we tell if 10 times we tell that particular object is a cat the machine learning will tell it is a cat. So based on the user input only the machine learning will work. So what is the role of artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence will have the capability of to check whether the machine learning and deep learning has been done in a proper way or not. So artificial intelligence will think beyond the human intelligence even though if we are training the system artificial intelligence will think twice whether the particular process is a correct one or not. So what is an AI? So AI will be a combination of these all functionalities. So cognitive computing, computer vision, machine learning, neural network, deep learning, natural language processing. So natural language processing plays a major role in your artificial intelligence. So whatever we are teaching to the system, it will act according to that. If we are telling like that system is not providing a particular output, how we are going to justify is based on the natural language processing. So natural language processing will generate a pattern based on that pattern only your machine learning systems will be educated and then because of that only the output will be provided. So expert system in AI. So what are the things we are going to see in our expert system is so how the expert system has been emerged in our artificial intelligence and what are the characteristics and what is the need be why we are going for the expert system and what are the components of expert system applications advantage and disadvantage. So these are the major factors we are going to, to see in today's session. So history. So as we see this diagram what we can able to see is we, we have a myth that we all humans has been emerged from monkeys. So it is a true or not but our people will say that we came from monkeys. So humans has been emerged from monkeys but that is true or not we, have, we don't have any proof but artificial intelligence has been emerged from humans. That is a true fact human being has been developed the concept of artificial intelligence and they have been the innovative of the AI system. So we think that we are using artificial intelligence nowadays but it is not true but the artificial intelligence has been developed in the year of 1943 before we get independence though so that is the first artificial intelligent neuron they have developed in the lab. So what they have done they have just did, did the chemical reaction between the neurons they have not developed any product with that. So later on with the, the upcoming years in 1956-1950 they have developed Turing machine. So Turing machine is the first product they have developed with the AI concept and later on with the emerging they have in 1980s they have a first AI winner which acts as a human but they didn't develop as a human as a part of human like human brain it will work. 
but later on uh, when, when the years goes on they are developing so nowadays we have many systems many many products developed with artificial intelligence so the emerging thing is like whatever the human beings are doing the artificial intelligence system will do that much capability they have developed this year so these are the features of artificial intelligence Though as I say deep learning, once we are giving an input, the system will think whether the particular input is a correct one or not, whether the data what we have taken is a correct one for the process. And next one is your facial recognition. So previous years and all what we will do, we will if we are going for a work, if we are giving an entry, we will be giving a signature in an attendance or we will be giving a manual registration. But Nowadays, facial recognition. So, when we go for a biometric or when we go for any authentication, fingerprint, everything, everything comes under your facial recognition. Next one is your automatic task. So, we don't want to make the system to tell again and again. So, we will be just fixing a time and schedule so that the artificial intelligence can do the work automatically and data ingestion. So, data ingestion is a main feature of your artificial intelligence. So, without data we cannot do anything. So, based on the data only your output will be. So, if you are providing a proper data to your expert system that is your artificial intelligence, your output will be better efficient one but the data is not proper your output will not be efficient if you are training your system well only the output will be 100 times if you are training your system with the correct out input only the one not one time it will be giving the correct output but if not if the data is not proper it is not an organized one your efficiency will be less so cloud computing majorly it plays a role for storing your data only for data storage only we are going one of the feature of AI is your cloud computing and chatbots you know chatbots is like for intimating the functionalities whatever we are going to do so what is the need for expert system so these are the main reasons why we are going for the expert system so no emotions will be there why because if we are giving one work for an human being emotions will be there so if they work for one hour they will feel good to us they will feel better but if we are working continuously for 8 hours or 10 hours, we will we usually we, we used to scold those who are giving the work to us. So that is the emotional kind of one. But the expert system will not have no emotion. It will work for 24 bar 7 if we if whatever the capabilities we are providing to the system. And next one is your eye efficiency. Even though if it is working for 24 bar 7, the result it produced for the first output will be the same for your last output and next one is your expertise in the domain so your AA will be a separate one expertise if I am going for pattern generation means the domain expert will be there if I am going for image processing image processes expert system AA will be there so based on the expert system only we are going to give the input as your data next the memory limitation we don't have any memory limitation we can able to process how much ever data we want next one is your regular updates and improving of performance so the machine will be automatically updated based on the input what we are giving and high security will be there and considering all these facts that is the reason why we are going for the expert system so when compared to human beings expert system will not think as its own but the work done by the expert system will be higher efficiency and more security when compared to the human being. So this is your expert system. So your data will be there. Your data will be any form like your object data or image data or numerical data. Any values will be your data that will be act as a input and you will be having your expert system. In your expert system, you are going to frame certain set of rules and models and then result. So if I am giving any condition in my expert system, based on that condition, based on that rule, it will check whether the given condition, given data is correct, true or not. Okay, based on that we will be getting the result. So if the data is not proper, the entire expert system will be giving a lower performance and efficiency and accuracy will be lesser. So based on the input only, your expert system will work and based on your expert system, whatever condition you are framing, based on that condition, your output will be a efficient one. So we have two different types in your expert system. One is Mizen and another one is Dart. We will see one by one. So in your Mizen, this is the entire 
picture of your mycin so you will be an non expert user and you will be an knowledge expert so the one we, we who is using the application will be a non expert he will not be knowing the in depth of what is happening inside so if you are going for any any application in your mobile phone or in your system or online application we will be knowing only about what is happening on the user end side we don't know what what they have done on the other end that is the server side so what type of coding they have done how this is happening we don't know so we know the non expert user will be knowing only the user interface side and they will be knowing what are the uh, features are there only in the user interface so the, the they will be giving the input the user interface will be based on the rules and engine the user interface will be acting and then you will be having a knowledge base the knowledge base will be full and full con connected with your expert user who knows all the things about the particular application or a particular system they have developed okay so the knowledge base engineer will be having the role of using your user interface as well as the server side but your non expert user will be having the knowledge about the user interface that is your front end so these are the components so we will be having three different engineers one is your human expert knowledge engineer and user so the user will not know anything about the, he will be just communicating with the interface the inference engine and knowledge base will be handled by your knowledge engineer and the human expert that is the domain expert if i am going for a image processing if i am going to apply if i am going to extract any pro, any pro pattern from my image what i have to know i have to know which algorithm or which application i have to apply on that particular image so that i can able to know this kind of pattern will be generated without knowing that i cannot be able to do so those things will be known by your human expert and knowledge engineer what has to be applied on a particular input but your user will be knowing the other end that is your front end which will be useful for front end side only so this is an entire architecture diagram so you will be having a user the user will be communicating with the user interface then the user interface will be having the knowledge base editor inference engine and exp uh, explanation system so this will be framing as one shell even though the user uh, user interface is communicated with the, all the three components the user will not able to access so the server only the server side which is the, the knowledge expert and the knowledge engineer can able to modify the data or modify the patterns or syntax whatever framed by them the user can able to use only the system he cannot able to do any changes in the application or the the user interface side so this is the entire architecture and you will be having a knowledge base knowledge base plays a major role on the mycin architecture why because whatever the data we are taking from the knowledge base will give you the perfect output if your input is not proper your output will not be the proper one so knowledge base plays a major role even though your expert system and your knowledge engineer is there the data will be driven from the knowledge base so based on the data what you have stored in your knowledge base your output will be dependent so what is your user interface so you as you know you can able to see the picture so you will be having the user interface so front end if you go for any application any uh, weather prediction or anything whatever the application is there so this is your user end okay so user interface you can able to view only this part of from the user side the knowledge base engineer and the expert engineer will know what happened behind this so if you are clicking if you are playing a game you you will be just swapping or you will be just playing the game but you don't know how the data has been stored each and every moves on your play and in any, any application it will be stored in the server side that will be handled by your knowledge expert so your knowledge expert will be making a note of each and every user in the database so how it is happening any drawbacks is there so based on that only they will improvise so your inference will be there your inference engine you have two different types of chaining one is forward chaining and another one is backward chaining you have two different condition one is unconditioned and another one is or condition so forward chaining is like you will be having your rules and you will be having the facts so based on rules you will be taking the facts and then you will be concluding an output but in your backward you will be having the rules based on the rules only you will be taking the facts that is your backward so you will be having two different condition one is your and condition and another one is your or condition so and condition is whatever input i am giving whatever condition i am giving both the condition should satisfy then only i can go to the next step if not now my and condition will be a drawback so or condition is like i if any one of my input any one of my condition is correct i can able to make a 
decision so they depend on the user input dependent on the application in your forward chain either you can go for and condition either you can go for an or condition so based on the input only you are going to check whether you are going to follow the and condition or or condition so both the things you will be having here i have given only two facts you can have n number of facts so in that n number of facts you can apply your and condition and on condition you can take the decision so from that decision also you can apply and condition or odd condition why we are not going for our condition is the final decision should be the final one so you have to apply only the and condition why because any one of the decision should be true right so if both the decision or both the decision will be true for this facts but it will not be true for the final one so i am going to apply only the and condition for my final decision so my backward chaining is like reverse process from the decision i will be checking whether the facts what are the possible facts are there so from decision 3 i will be applying my and condition then i will be going for what are the two different decisions can be taken from that output and from that i will be applying my and and or what are the possible facts will be there so this will be your backward chaining so your knowledge base will be act on two different thing that is one is your factual knowledge and another one is your heuristic knowledge factual knowledge is based on facts so if one someone is telling like this is the myth so we are believing that so that is a fact so we will not be executing anything so whatever they are telling we will believe so this will be the input this will be the output that is based on your fact but based on the practices you will be giving the input you will be analyzing the data you will be making a uh, your system to experience the input then you will be telling the output so that is based on practice so in this two heuristic knowledge will be the better one why because without executing anything we cannot tell that that is true so based on practice only your data will be a perfect one and your output will be a more efficient one your dot is nothing but your diagnostic assistant reference tool so this dot is mainly used for your medical application why because we are going to analyze some particular disease means your this dot plays a major role so the project has been first introduced by the stanford university and ibm and the application of your artificial intelligence plays a major role in this dot and for why we are going this is nowadays we are having all computer computerized reports so we are going to check with this dot whether the computerized report is a correct one of a particular patient or no even though the doctor will analyze mistakes may happen because we are human being but when we go for this dart application we can able to diagnose for any other computer faults are there suppose for example if you, if you are going for any bp or sugar test in the place of if the value is in the place of 2 if the value is 5 means obviously it is higher so the doctor will suggest to take the higher mg of medicine so that is a default one by the human being because of the computer mistake the human beings are doing mistake so diagnose the computer mistake itself we are introducing an application called dart so this is the features of your dart it is an open source and it is an independent so you will be having an object oriented concept and you will be having a safer side when we go for a particular thing so what are the application of your artificial intelligence is the major application they are using in artificial intelligence is gaming so all of us will play games right so either in your systems or laptops or your mobile phones we are addicted to game so the major role of your artificial intelligence is gaming so you can able to know the gaming in a system are game and jumping game but nowadays we are having with higher efficiency so how it has been able based on this artificial intelligence only and e-commerce education and robotics social media or in all the places we are using artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is an emerging one where in in next 10 years we will, humans will be replaced by artificial intelligence system so what is the advantage over your artificial intelligence is like you will be having an increased efficiency why because we are not going to see the human resources we are just going to give the input for the system the system will work for 24 by 7 so the efficiency will be high and you will be have reducing of human risk will be low why because human can do mistake but machines cannot do and next is like decision making will be easier why because human will be having two different mindset whether to go this side or that side in a confusion but you, machines will be based on the given input it will take an exact output so availability of machine so availability of your artificial intelligence will be more when we compare to the human being one while going to your cons obviously 
causes of unemployment will be there surely unemployment will be there when you go for your artificial intelligence then initial investment will be high why because we cannot afford the system with a low investment so you will, we have to invest more in your artificial intelligence and dependency of machines will be there and lack of creativity will be there why because machine cannot able to think on its own it can we whatever we are doing the creativity it will work on that only it cannot able to think as human why because in a, in a crowd if, if we are giving an input the humans have different type of capabilities and different type of thinking abilities and creativity ideas will be different but when you go for artificial human system then there will be creativity be less why because whatever data we are giving based on that only it will create if we tell to jump from third floor also the system will jump but if human beings will ask why I want to jump, what is the reason why I should do. So that why question will not arise with the human system. So because of that, uh, your lack of creativity will be less in your artificial intelligence system. Thank you students.